Hi and welcome back to It's Miracle Beauty. My name is Brandy and I am a beauty review channel. If you're new here, I hope that you'll subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. If you're a returning subscriber, I thank you and I appreciate you for viewing. So today, as you saw from the title, I'm doing L'Oreal Full Face Friday. I owned pretty much everything I needed for this video. There was a few in the back of my head over the last like three, four months I picked up and they're on sale or I had a gift card. However, I own vast majority of them because I do like L'Oreal. I think they have quality products. I think that they are edging up on the price. They're getting a little bit big for their britches on the price, but everything else I usually like. And like any brand, I don't like every single product, but there is certain key products they're really good at. There is one product I have today that is brand new to me. I'd never seen it before and I did try it and I was blown away. So if you like Full Face Fridays or Makeup Minutes, I hope that you will like, share, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. If you're ready for Full Face Friday, then here we go. I prime my eyes with the Age Perfect Radiant Concealer. This is a newer line, it's not brand new. And then I did use the same matching powder to set the lids. So I am gonna be working with the Paradise Enchanted Scented Eyeshadows. Like this. There was actually another palette I wanted but I had trouble finding. And that was the only thing I needed for L'Oreal. So I've actually never tried L'Oreal's eyeshadows, I don't think. I actually like most of their products, so I'm hoping I'll like those too. But I don't know why. This never did. So I'm going to start with this a little bit deeper transition shade right here. Mine's probably old because it doesn't have much of a scent. But it was the literal last one Target had, and I had a gift card, so I actually didn't have to pay cash for it. So I did want to get what Target had available. Target always has those specials that are like buy three of this and you get a gift card or whatever. And whenever they have those on my detergent or toothpaste things I'm going to buy anyways, I always do that. So that is a transition shade. So let's see. I don't think I'm going to do anything super like out of this world today. I think next I'm going to go in with this shimmer right here. And then I'm going to deepen it with this one. I think that's all I'm going to do today. But also sometimes it's just good to, just to have a streamlined like basic look. Honestly, that was really easy. It went on the lid very easy. I might have been sleeping on this palette because so far it's really easy to work with. I don't invest in a ton of drugstore because at the end of the day, I don't grab them as much as I grab my high end. And that didn't used to be that way. I actually had the same chocolate CoverGirl palette. I repurchased it and repurchased it and repurchased I mean, it was probably... I don't even know, but it probably was three or four years, I think. And then I started getting into, I think the Naked Mini palette, or the Naked 2 Mini palette was one of my, no, I think it was the original Naked Mini. I purchased that. I didn't like that palette that much. It was actually one of my least favorites, but it kind of dipped my toes into the palette world, and that's how I got started. Next, I'm reaching into that deeper shade. This does have a lot of kick up in the um, pan. I'm going to grab a little bit of this shade right here. It is just a little bit warmer pink. The pink's a little bit too cool. It makes it look a little awkward. That one was very easy to apply as well. I didn't need to wet my brush. I didn't have to use my finger. Nothing. Okay, I did just clean up under my under eye. For primer, I have the L'Oreal Paris Magic Perfecting Base. It does look like that. And this is one I, you can see I did barely use, but I was decluttering because of everything going on. I haven't been able to get rid of my declutter jets. I grabbed it back out instead of buying a new one. This one has a very silicone base. Um, I would say it's more likely a dupe for the Benefit Professional or one of them. Some people call it a dupe for the, um, what is it called? Bobbi Brown Face Base. I disagree entirely with that. This is very silicone-y. That one is just a really deep moisturizer. And this one, you can feel the silicone in it. I don't like primers with a ton of silicone. There's a couple I can tolerate, but overall, I try to avoid them. Or just I don't like the way they make my skin feel. I don't like the way my makeup lays. It's just not my favorite. I have one BB cream. It's the Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream from L'Oreal. I actually just got this with my points at Ulta, so I can't give you a review on it yet, but I am working on that one. And then I've only used this one once. I have the H Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. I actually purchased this when this first came to CVS probably 
over six months ago, I think. And I kept forgetting to grab it. I ended up trying it one time and I still, it's been kind of in the back of my drawer. So I am moving that to the front so I can try it more. But I am going to use it today. I don't feel like I have a perfect shade in L'Oreal's foundations. I feel like the other one that was really popular it has like the tall glass bottle and the red cap. That one I was not my favorite by far. But even then I had trouble finding a perfect shade. It was very difficult to get one that worked perfectly. I could always make one work with between concealer and bronzer and everything. But it was difficult to get one that worked just on its own for my shading. As you can probably tell it does. It's very reflective. My cool mug. So next I'm going to do a concealer. I am going to use the H Perfect one that I set my eyes with. This is another one I think I could actually go about a shade lighter but it's workable the way it is. I don't have to so I'm not going to buy one for no reason. But if I had to do it over again. This one is very moisturizing to your under eye. It doesn't dry it out. It's medium coverage. Speaking of the foundation, is also medium coverage. For all that I applied, I don't have a full coverage, but I don't think their intent is full coverage. Most serum foundations are meant to be light on the skin and not have a lot of problems with um, drying out or making it look dry. Next, I'm going to set my face with the L'Oreal Hydra Perfecte or Perfect Hydra Perfect. As an E, I'm not sure. So, this was one I never knew existed. However, I did find it at. I think I saw it on Amazon and Walmart is where I found it at and so I had picked this up when it was on sale wanting to try it and I have honestly yet to try it so this is kind of a first impression on this one it had good ratings though when I bought it, it does look very finely milled it has a perfumey odor it's not I don't think a crazy amount but you definitely can smell it It is keeping some of that luminosity. So maybe this is a good powder for this foundation if you like a glowing finish. It definitely doesn't look bad under the under eye. I might have wished I'd used a different powder later because it looks like it is going to sink, but we'll see. I definitely think it keeps its glow. I mean, that's... I've decently powdered and it's still looking pretty glowy. So either the loose powder has some in it. I don't think it's supposed to. I think it's just supposed to not look dry. That could be part of it too, I guess. So that is the powder. I do just want to dust off any of the excess. Okay, so that is the base. Let's do bronzer next. So I do have the, I have the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze It. And this does look to be a luminizing bronzer, which I like. I don't mind that at all. So it does look like that. So I'm just going to take my bronzer brush. And this is an O1 Fair. I just noticed there is one area right here that somehow reacted to the powder or something. And it's literally showing every pore that I normally can't even see when I have no makeup on. So I'm going to try to keep working with it, but I just wanted to point that out. I just want to deepen up my bronzer just a little bit. Okay, that is bronzer. Blush I have two. I've used both of these. One I've used more than the other. This is the H Perfect Radiant Skin Blush. And this is in Mauve. So that one does look like that. This one is very pigmented. And you have to be careful because you can overuse it really easy. The other one I have is part of the Paradise and Chana collection. And this is in Fantastical. It does look like this. And just to show in my pan challenge, I actually mark my dots when how much I've used something. I'm supposed to use it 31 times, so I am tracking that. Which I didn't have a marker next to me when I used it the other day, so I do have to add that one in today's. So it does look like that. This one is just a, to me, a classic peachy blush. 
is a little bit of um, glow to it, but it's not a crazy amount. It just looks pretty every single time. Highlighter I have the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Illuminator. It does look like this. Mine did arrive broken. I've never like fixed it or repressed it because it was just, it just fell out. It was this little chunk over here fell out. So I didn't worry about it. I'm probably never going to use the whole thing anyways. So it wasn't, you know, a reason to take it back. I am going into this pale yellowish gold shade and the pink shade. Wow, that's very pretty. It's such a pretty glow. I am just going to touch up this outer corner of my eye before I finish my eyes. I do want to do my inner corner with that highlighting palette. Next I'm going to do brows. I don't have any brow gel, but I do have two pencils. I have the Age Perfect and I have the Brow Styler and Definer. I do look like this. I am going to do the Brow Styler and Definer. So that's how my brows look. It feels funny not wearing a brow gel because I wear one every day. However, I wasn't going to buy one just for this. For the sure fact, I probably won't use it. Both of these are ones I already owned. I purchased previously, so I didn't have to buy anything. Next, I'm going to go in with eyeliner. I do just have an Age Perfect Satin Glide Eyeliner, and this is in charcoal. It does look like this. So I'm just going to put that in my bottom waterline. Does look like that. I don't wear dark on my waterline much anymore, so it always looks funny when I first put it on. Curl my lashes, then I'm going to do a lash primer. So for mascara base, I am going to use the L'Oreal Luminous. It does look like that. I do own the other one, but it's not open yet, so I don't want to start it aging. So I am going to leave that one alone. This one is getting towards the end of it. It's starting to have just a different feel from when I first opened it, and it's a little bit harder to work with, so I will be parting ways with this one soon. And then I'm going to finish my Essence one that I can stand and then open the next one. Next I'm going to do mascara. As three mascaras are rolling out this month I'm actually going to open one that I didn't previously have open. Um, I'm either going to do the Age Perfect or the Lash Paradise. It does look like this. I think I'm going to do the Lash Paradise. You know I feel like there's a ton of videos about Lash Paradise. I'm actually going to do the Age Perfect. I do think L'Oreal makes really good mascaras. I think they're one of the drugstore leads in my opinion. They typically knock my socks off every time I use them. And I actually will forget how good they are and then go back and use it and be like, oh, I forgot about that. Because they are, in my opinion, one of the leading in it. Like, a lot of people love that Lash Princess. In fact, when I was in Ulta the other day, I saw someone buying 10 of them at once because she and all her friends were using it so fast. She volunteered. She went to the um, local university. She volunteered to bring them back to her roommates. And it is so shocking to me because that mascara did nothing for me but... Makeup and mascara in particular is so personal and it depends on your lashes and how they perform and I actually think the Lash Paradise is probably better than this one. This one is a bit blacker than the Lash Paradise from what I remember. I think that one was more of like a, for lack of a better term, a natural black versus a, a darkest and I believe this is one of the darkest ones because it's showing up on my eyes way better than normal. I do have pretty light eye lashes to begin with. So that is my upper lash. For my lower lash, I'm actually going to grab blue. It is the Voluminous 2. So this is one I pretty much always have one of these in my house. Um, like right now I have the red and the blue. I have a green. It's not open yet. And I'm not going to open it until these do. I just opened this blue not that long ago. If you want to spend just a little bit less money and get the exact same product in my opinion, in, in coloring and in performance, you can do the ColourPop BFF Mascara. So it does look like that. So for lips, I have the Age Perfect Anti-Feathering Lip Liner and this is in Flamingo Carmen. It does look like this. So I'm going to line my lips lightly. Do the shade and the formula. This can get really wow loud really fast. I'm just really careful about how I do it. It's very buttery, works very easy. Did not have to mess with it at all. And then now I have the L'Oreal Age Perfect. This is a Vibrant Fuchsia. It does look like this. Let me do that. I actually use this probably more than the other lipstick in my collection right now. It is 
a really nice formula and it typically looks really good. Not sure how it looks with the warm eyes. Do you want to highlight my brow bone? I'm going back into that Lumi Illuminizer palette. This one. And I am going to take the like almost an orange shade and that's what I'm going to do on my brow bone. So this is my finished look for L'Oreal. Let's talk about the products. So I'm going to start from the base and work outward. So I think I kind of made my feelings known about this one. If you love a silicone primer, if you like them, I think it's great. It's a great drugstore option. It is pretty much an exact dupe for the Smashbox or the Professional by Benefit. So if you like those, I think that will be a hit out of the park for you. It works really, really well. If we look at the foundation, it's a little bit runny for me. Like I'm already seeing my smile lines are a little bit deeper than normal. So I'm not sure if this is something I'd want to use all the time. It's definitely great for hot days. It's definitely great for if you don't want to feel like you have mask. I don't feel this at all. So it feels really good. And again, that's almost like a first impression. I've only used it twice now. So just what I'm seeing so far. The concealer was the H Perfect Radiant Concealer. I definitely agree it's radiant. I definitely think it works really well. I think that I didn't use any color corrector and I can see a deepness under my eyes, but it's not crazy and I think it looks really good. Let's see, the Age Perfect Powder, I think this is fantastic. I love the way, and as I went on, I kept thinking that it wasn't actually powdering it down because I could still see the luminous coming through. It did and it feels great. It's probably one of my favorite powders I've used recently. The press powder, I only used on my eyelids basically, so I can't give a great opinion, but it is a very thick powder. I think if I were to use this, this is actually a powder foundation. If I were to use this as that, I think it felt very heavy, but I think it's great for going under the eye and stuff like that or setting your eyeshadow. And the only reason I have two is because my husband knew I was looking for it. And so he grabbed one that he thought would be in my shade and I had picked it up the same day at the same store. So I have two different shades. And if we ever kept our receipts, I probably would return one, but we suck at that. For blush, I have two. I only use this one in the video and this one I just think gives a glowy fresh look. I think it looks gorgeous. This one is a lot deeper and a lot harder to blend but when you do get it blended it looks fantastic. The bronzer I really like. I think it's a very light healthy like if you look at my forehead I don't like a ton of bronzer on my forehead. It just looks healthy. The palette honestly worked fantastic. It literally blended perfectly. I didn't have any issues with it. Like even now I keep fixing things but it's my blending not the product. So what else do we got to do here? Mascaras I'm gonna kind of lump together. So I didn't use the two Lash Paradise in this video so I'm gonna take those out. And I didn't use the red in this video so I'm gonna take those out. However, I did use the Luminous Primer and I used the Luminous Blue and I used the H Perfect. And I think they worked well overall. The H Perfect probably isn't my favorite L'Oreal uh, mascara but I don't think it looks bad. Like I can see my lashes, they are curled. They're just not super like, when I use my Thrive, my lashes stand straight up and I really like that look. And then the highlighter, honestly, I think that is a win. It looks very natural and glowy. If you want to, you know, amp it up, you probably could, but I think that looks really good. And then eye products, let's see. I didn't use, this one I didn't use, it's the H Perfect Eyebrow. This is the L'Oreal Brow Styler. I think that works fantastic. I think that it did exactly what I needed to. It just gave me a little bit of outline and filled in where I needed it. And then for the eyeliners, for the eyeliners, I used these two, a black and a purple. And again, they were buttery, they were smooth, I had no issues. And same with the lips. The lips are fantastic. They are, honestly, these are my favorite combo I've had in a long time. So that is my full face of L'Oreal for Full Face Fridays. I hope that you will like, share, and subscribe. Ring that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of my Full Face Fridays. If you wouldn't mind commenting down below your favorite L'Oreal product, what stands out for you, what you love, and I hope you have a fantastic day wherever you are.